Hello out to all you wonderful people, this is Andre the Game My Dear Guy. Thank you once again for joining me for another Wood Rock for Xbox discussion video. And this time I'm going to be talking about One Step from Eden for the Xbox series of consoles. Okay, you guys don't know how many times I messed that up and I probably should start saving my bloopers and post them up later. But, that said, and out the way, <laughs> this would actually be... A good game to throw onto the Xbox, and I know there are going to be people who say, "But well, this isn't the styling that would fit on the Xbox or play very well on the Xbox." But I'm coming at it from the angle that there is the game Crosscode on Xbox Game Pass. It's on PC, I believe. It's coming to the Xbox One in the very near future, if it hasn't already. And Lay from Crosscode, the main character of Crosscode is a skin for the main character Saffron in One Step from Eden. And when I look at it, it's just like if both the if this game ended up on the Xbox One, it would be <clears throat> or or Xbox Series X when that comes out, it would be cool to cross promote the games and have like a setup where both of them can be sold together and promote that Lay is in One Step from Eden as a skin for Saffron. Heck, she could even be available from Jump for the Xbox launch for One Step from Eden. Even though she is, she's just really just a replacement skin for Saffron, you still play as that character because, again, they are sprites, so it is still separate and individual of Saffron as she is normally. That said, it's just something that I think would be pretty cool. For one and two, I, I love the game anyway. Like, and I can't help but say, yeah, they should definitely put this on more platforms so that more people can play it. Is this really the gist of this? Is just that I don't think that this game would be headed to this platform. To be fully honest, that's why I'm making the case for it now. So, again, to me, it makes a lot of sense, and it would be pretty cool if it did end up over there. Plus. The control inputs for the Xbox One and Xbox 360 controllers are already in the game's coding anyway. So to me, it just makes you know a lot of sense. It would be an easy transition, and it would just fit right at home on that platform. Just, just at least that's just how I'm thinking about it. I mean, I could be very wrong. Other people can come up with reasons that it just doesn't make sense. But I mean, if you're going to use the Xbox controller layout, it just, to me, it just makes more sense to go ahead and say, hey, put it on this platform or make it available to this platform anyhow. But that's me. I don't really have too much more to say. Um, again, the game really speaks for itself if you sit down and play it anyhow. So that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out.